What up, YouTube? This is the Big Face Trucker coming at you. And uh, this is just a, a video that I was just sitting here, chilling, drinking a beer with my brother. And we in the uh, shop, the mechanic shop. So if you see some stuff, you know, that's what's up. But other than that, um, I came to the decision is not to go out and park in my truck. Um, I'm just hearing too many, it's it's touching home base. It's like I'm hearing too many people that a friend of a friend or a friend, aunt, or somebody's dying from this. And uh, I was just watching a video about a trucker that just went up to New York and uh, he caught a load up there and then he had a deadhead all the way back from New York to Florida because there wasn't no loads up there. I don't know if that's true or not or whatever, but I'm not going to take that risk. You know, I just to the point now, you know, hey, I'll deal with the bill collectors or whatever. I deal with them in a certain way that, hey, y'all just going to have to hold off. You know, they, they, they're just going to have to hold off. This is. This is something different, and I, I tell you, I, I, I've never seen nothing like this. So, you know, during my time, and I'm, I'm, I'm 54 years old, so, you know, there's cats that's older that probably seen me, seen something like this or similar to it or whatever, but I don't think it's worth me going out there, going out there and uh, pulling the load, especially the brokers are not paying to take the risk to go out there. There's plenty of truck drivers that's got it, and they don't even know they got it, and they're going out there. They, you know, and and you know us men, you know, we feel like we just gung ho. Nothing can fucking stop us until we get it. You know what I'm saying? I would advise everybody that I know, or everybody that I talk to on the phone, even even my fan base uh, or you know watching my videos and stuff like that if you drive a truck man just take it on home man take it on home i know if your company's telling you you got to go out there it might be worth just getting the unemployment check and and going home and being with your families during this time and be quarantined with them instead of being quarantined in another state with a whole bunch of you know other people that's sick it's a bad feeling. We go to the hospital. You go into the hospital alone. You're going to die alone. You know, you're going to die alone because nobody's going to be there to hold your hand or nothing like that, your family members. So, uh, you know, just just hearing some of the story and everything, yeah, it can create anxiety, but you got to be smart about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what happens in two weeks. Park it. Come home. Park it. Let's see what happens in two weeks and, and go from there. I got a definite, you know, I, I went online and I searched for that money and everything, filled out all that and everything, and it, it just looks like a green light, you know, so wait for the money to hit, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, you know, and, and just sit back and just handle these, handle these phone calls that's coming in saying, hey, you got to pay, you got to pay, hold on to your cash, hold on. Move your money to account where they're not sliding money out of your account every day. And put that money in a safe place. If you got a fuel card, keep it on your fuel card. Don't put it in your bank account. Keep it on your fuel card. Because, you know, they got that automatic draft. We all got automatic drafts going out because we can't remember to pay bills. You know what I'm saying? So, that I'm just speaking on me. Maybe you got a different, but at the same time. You know, I'm just, I park, I park my shit. You know what I'm saying? I park my truck and uh, the rates are not worth me going out there. Uh, they're trying to send you down to Florida for seven, eight hundred dollars from Atlanta when you know damn well it's 15 on up, you know. Um, I just can't, I, I can't do it, man, you know. So I sit home, smoke me cigars, I'm chilling, I'm drinking a beer right now, 
Um, my brother came over to hang out with me. And, uh, shoot, it's good to have some company, you know. But at the same time, you know, we got to hold it down. And, you know, this thing with the shutdown here in Atlanta, people are not listening. They're still going out there. And, it, and it, this is the problem, you know. When you know something serious is going on and people are not listening, so you know it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go longer. You know, they're talking two weeks. No, no. I'm getting messages like all the way to September, you know. And I believe that this ten grand that they, they supposedly given out to small business to, to, to us truckers and stuff like that, they might wind up giving another ten grand in another two months. Another month, two months. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, just my opinion. But I'm gonna park it, and uh, I've been home. I've been home a whole week. Thursday was a week, so I still don't have no intentions of running a load. I look on the load board; loads are getting fewer and fewer. Uh, from what I hear, people are saying there's a lot of trucks on the road. This is guys that's, you know, running it. I don't know if any mega carriers are out there running it and putting their drivers at risk, you know. That could be a lawsuit for a driver. You catch it out there, drive, you know, and, and, and uh, they're forced to do that stuff. And then, hey, you turn around, you can sue a company, you know, especially if you tell them you want to go home during the situation. And they need their drivers to run that stuff. Because you brokers are home with your families. You dispatchers, you're home with your families. You're basically almost working from the house. But us drivers is out here in the element. And it's not no money in this world that can sit back and, 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 and say, uh, yeah, uh, I'll run this slow and risk your life. You may not feel the symptoms now. But the symptoms might hit you in 14 days, 7 days. You know what I'm saying? And when, you, when you're hearing stories like I'm hearing, or you're hearing, you're seeing actual things going on, people are dying, yo. People are dying. You know? And, uh, you know, I, I contact my family and make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, you got these YouTubers that's out there on the road making YouTube videos and stuff like that. And, and you know, they big it up to make y'all get out there and drive and call y'all heroes and shit like that. A hero is a motherfucking sandwich. All right. And it's bound to get eaten. So, yo, why are you out there? Why are you out there? You got family. You got children. You got brothers, you got mothers and, and fathers and stuff like that. Don't you think you need to be at home? You know what I'm saying? Fuck the brokers. Fuck the truck. Don't be gung-ho and shit like that going out there thinking you a superhero. Yo, shut it down. All right, shut it down. Deal with your bills later. They know across the whole world this is what's going on. People are going through problems. Shut it down. When it's all over with, go back out there and make the money. You know what I mean? That that that's how I look at it. Cause I, I'm not I'm not gonna get out there, you know. And they they charging it. I was even thinking about doing short hops here and running water here in Atlanta. But you got these clowns out here that's fucking running these waters for hundred and ninety dollars. You know, and right here in Atlanta. You know, and it's just. It's just, you know, and the brokers are trying to make money, you know what I'm saying? Damn near probably 50% of the load. And instead of them saying, you know, we need to move this load and we need to pay these drivers some kind of hazardous fee. You know, this way drivers will probably come back out. I go to my park where I park my trailer. And all them drivers are out riding. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's you know, drivers is not staying clean right now because... Truck stops shut the fucking showers down. All right? So they can't clean the shower, and you go in there and take a shower, and you, you catch the virus, and then what happened? You want to sue fucking pilot. You want to sue loves. 
or something like that. Yo, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. And then you fucking die. You know what I mean? How many truckers are sitting still in a truck stop that don't have a home to go to and sitting in their truck, right? Sick as fuck. Getting ready to fucking die. How many of that? You don't think you don't think this shit is gonna come and hit these truck drivers? You're gonna hear more cases, you know what I'm saying? Or either you're gonna hear cases and they ain't gonna relate it to a truck driver. He's gonna bring the shit down to his family. He's gonna bring it to his his friends or whatever. It's not worth it, yo. While you healthy and well, take your motherfucking ass home. That's how I look at it, yo. That's how I look at it. You know, that's how I look at it. If you want to continue to go out there and run like you uh, Superman and, you know, you immune to this shit, do your thing. Keep making fucking videos how your truck is fucking breaking down and you're going to shops with mechanics, you know, they have sent you. You know, go there and get your, get your truck fixed and shit. But meanwhile, the mechanic is fucking sick. He getting all in your truck and shit. Nah, not gonna happen with Big Face, you know. I got a friend of mine, he been home for three weeks. Three months, I mean. He been home for three months. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the way that's the way to be able to do it. Sit home for three months. Wait for shit to happen. You know, and, and Right now, you hear the cars out here, you know, people are getting around because it's daytime now, about 5, 6 o'clock. It needs to be quiet out there, not here in Atlanta. People still getting around, and they're giving out like a $1,000 fine for uh, just driving around here, creating fucking traffic, you know. If I need to go do something, I'm going to jump in my truck and go do it. You know, they ain't going to fuck with me, but at the same time, I'm not going in those uh, grocery stores and stuff like that. I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not going to do it, you know? People talk about that mask shit and everything. Half of your fucking mask don't even seal your face. You need one of those masks that they have in the military where you got to clear that shit. Blow on it, clear it, and then boom, seal it. Seal to your face. That's, that's what kind of mask you need. If you want or if you really want to talk about a mask, with the filters on the side, the 3M filters on the side. That's the kind of mask you need. That bullshit mask that they got right there, that's for the sick. That's how I feel. It's for the sick. The people that are sick, they need to put that on there because if they sneeze or whatever, it's trapped in the fucking mask. They inhale that shit, keep inhaling that shit. You know what I'm saying? But if it was in the air and all that shit, when you rolling down your window going down the highway, we all had that shit. All right? It's going from people to people. Person to person. Sorry about that. Person to person. And uh, the sick is coming around the people that's not sick. And it's spreading. All right? So the way they, you know, to me, my understanding, they trying to get people to stay home so it won't spread. And the people that are staying home, the sickness will surface. You know what I'm saying? So when it surfaced, boom, now you're containing it. And then you know who's sick and who's not sick. It is what it is. I think you sick people out there, y'all need to wear your mask. Contain it amongst yourself. You know, and go to the hospital because from what I understand... They're not charging, you won't get no bill. If you catch the coronavirus, you will not get no bill from the medical center or nothing like that. Uh, you know, the, the bill is paid for. Because I guess it's not our fault. All right? And whose fault is it? We don't know whose fault it is. You know, it's some shit that just got out. And to me, when you when you fucking when you when they saying you know they send you fucking money to you and all that shit, they had something to fucking do with it. When you're guilty and shit, you do shit like that. You know, hey, it is what it is. But look, yo, I'm just sitting here 
chilling, you know, relaxing, smoking a cigar, drinking some beer. Uh, and my brother came over, so we just relaxing and everything. Uh, we build about it, you know, but other than that, you know, I'm parking my truck. Parking my truck. I don't want to, but I got to, I got to, you know, it's just, I'll wait the two weeks out and I'll fight off the bill collectors on the phone. Answer the damn phone, that's all. Don't even look at, don't look at it and just put them off. Answer the phone. And let them know, hey, this is what's going on. What are they going to say? What are they going to do to you? All right? As long as you got water, you got utilities, all right, and you got a roof over your head and you got food in your house, what are they going to do? That's how I look at it, all right? They can talk about how they're going to take your car and do this and do that. They got a lawsuit. You got a lawsuit right there. They can't do shit to you right now. So, take the break, motherfuckers. Go to fuck home. Alright? Go to fuck home. I don't care if your company, lease, go to fuck home. Let them brokers sit there in their room, living room and everything where they're safe and worry about moving freight. Let that freight pile up because when it's all said and done, that's when we can go to work. But go get your health and get right. That's how I look at it. But yo, I'm just a dumb truck driver. But other than that, you're coming from the toolbox, and this is Big Face Trucker talking to you. Um, I hope everybody is safe out there and doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and if you decide you want to run and keep running, yo. Oh, uh, you know, I, I pray that you are going to be safe out there and uh, <laughs> you complete your cheap ass loads. All right. I guess it's hot up there in uh, Ohio and everything. Maybe they paying up there, but I don't want to be far away from home and I get sick. All right. And then you got to go from state to state. You don't know what DOT is doing out there or what. I heard they pardon trucks and cars are going in the way station. You know. Oh, that's that's real neat to fucking uh, to, to, uh, experience. You know, saying, wow, this is great. Cars got to go in. Fuck that, man. Fuck all that. People have been trying to escape from New York. To go to Florida because it's warmer, but still in a warm climate, they still getting sick. So that's a fucking myth, you know, a myth. So I don't know what to tell you, you know, but I'm telling you what I'm doing, and I I'm staying home. And, and, you know, i just reaching out on this video, that's all. Um, just kicking it hard with y'all. But this is the big face trucker. And uh, you gonna get another beer? Yeah, you want? Yeah, grab me one. This is the big face trucker, and I'm signing off. Y'all hold it down and be safe out there and stay healthy. Peace.